What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Grim Runner. It's your boy, Clef Mikado. We back at it again with another video today. Today, we actually about to have some fun. As you can see, we right here at the Shell gas station. Just got finished putting gas in the car, but we about to get out and we about to have some fun today, man. It's finally cool out here in Las Vegas. I think it's about like 71 degrees right now. The air is actually cool. The wind is blowing. It's a nice breeze. So I finally get to test out this Hill Cat air intake box. For those of y'all who have tuned, who, excuse me, my bad, who tuning in for the first time, I installed the Hill Cat air intake box over the summer. And as you know, I'm out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, so it's hot as hell. And it's absolutely no way to reap the benefits of this particular modification, you know, in that actual heat. So now that we got some cool air, we about to get out and have a little fun. It's gonna be a POV style video, but it's gonna be commentary. We about to turn up and we go have some fun. So I don't wanna take too much of y'all time. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this video, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. We got the Challenger gassed up, so we about to get on and hit this road, and we about to have some fun, man. So, like I said, hold on, let me turn this radio down. I'm not trying to get no copyright strikes. For those of y'all who have tuned in to the channel for the first time, for all of my day ones, y'all know I installed that Hellcat air intake box sometime in the summer. I can't remember the exact month, but it was too hot to reap the benefits. So now that we officially have like a real chilly day in the low 70s, man, we about to turn up and have, have a little bit of fun because, man, I know this thing has been screaming for me to test it out. So let me see what screen I want to have this on. I don't know if I want to have it on a speedometer, but we going to figure this thing out as we drive. You know, I'm probably leaving on zero to 60 just in case we want to do a little test run. So got to make sure we put this thing in sport mode. Let's go ahead and we're going to put the roar pedal in. And we ain't going to do raise, man. We're going to do that Sport Plus. Boom, we're going to put it at, you know what? Yeah, we're going to play like this today. We're going to put it at six for right now. We might adjust this thing, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try to crack this window. Don't want to drown out the sound. I just want y'all to hear that exhaust note real quick. But we are on to the races, man. I appreciate y'all. We almost at 7K. Uh, man, let me watch out. Got to watch out for the for the pedestrians out here man yeah you gotta take that somewhere else man god bless though but yeah man we almost at 7,000 subscribers man i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all to the core i'm trying my best to get up to 10k before the end of the year but we gotta crack this da vinci code and figure out this new this new content in a new direction so i've been looking at a lot of different things trying to figure out um where i can get some actual you know nice little supercars or something like that that i can rent for a decent price toro it's kind of been like hit or miss for the past couple months i don't know if it's because of this pandemic a lot of people not renting their cars out like that but we go get it figured out and i knew i should not have came down this street so you know what let me do this we about to we about to make a turn because i'm not about to be sitting here waiting to try to make this left turn yeah man we is not about to do that today man but i hope all of y'all out there having a good having a good day having a good week man it's almost hump day it's almost wednesday we almost through this week and it's almost the weekend thank god because man if you have a job like i do you know it can get sticky it can get real tricky with the stress levels but yeah let me roll this up we gassed up shell plus 89 as always i cannot wait until i'm able to get a tune and we can go ahead and we can start using the 93 octane on this joint but i'm loving it though i'm loving it though for the most part man i swear to god i get i get the best performance out of shell 89 don't get me wrong chevron is dope i just wish we had more options out here in las vegas our best options are going to be shell of course we got chevron uh 76 which is kind of scarce i don't really know too much about sinclair but i heard sinclair was a top tier gas and then of course costco but you have to have a membership in order to get into costco i don't know if you need a membership in order to use you know to get gas or whatever correct me if i'm wrong you may need a membership to get the best rate but yeah it is what it is but man like i said i like using shell that's pretty much what i feel is the the best performance wise in this car so man i'm ready to test out this hellcat air intake box i wish i had more settings um within my actual dash so we could actually see like the intake temps but it's all good i can actually do it off of feel because i know how this car performs uh it's just been a long time man vegas gets so hot it's always 
over a hundred and something degrees in the summertime so it's kind of tricky you know you really can't get that performance that's why still to this day i get comments on like one of my first zero to 60 videos <laughs> what i didn't know any better i think it was like 118 degrees outside and you know everybody was kind of like making their little jokes here and there you know just a few people but all of the smart guys realize like look dude <laughs> your car is not going to perform in 118 degree weather so as you can see it's showing 74 on the dash but in all reality i think it's about like 71 72 today on a realistic uh on a realistic note so yeah man we about to go ahead and turn this up i know i'm driving a little bit slow i'm just talking right now i'm zoned out i'm chopping it up with my subscribers man it's rare that i do this i think this is my first pov video that i film that i actually have commentary on so if y'all like this let me know right now drop in the comments let me know if y'all like the pov style videos with commentary and me talking because we just freestyling man we about to have some fun i'm actually going to my favorite road right now so we just doing a little bit of driving man i had to gas up i'm definitely not going down this street right here because it's a cold accident and i am not about to get stuck in this traffic but yeah man while we sitting here and while we waiting i want y'all to let me know what type of content are y'all interested in what type of my subscriber excuse me what type of content do my subscribers actually want to see going forward because it's a couple different ways that i can go with the channel which i'm thinking about doing but i gotta find me um a, a cameraman you know that i can build a build a nice little rapport with and that we can consistently film together also, I'm actually thinking about starting a second channel just to kind of let y'all see the things that I'm interested in, man. Like, I'm a hungry dude. <laughs> I like to eat, you know? So, I, I for those of y'all who don't know, I, I don't even think I actually mentioned this before, but I gradu graduated culinary school out here in Las Vegas in 2017. So, I actually know how to cook very, very, very well. I, I knew how to cook before that, but I just wanted to go to culinary school and get that, um, get that official training because I was eventually thinking about opening my own restaurant, which I still am. It's just that business is extremely risky so i kind of held off a little bit but yeah i'm actually thinking about starting a, a food channel with me cooking and with me going to different little food spots you know showing y'all all of the little hot spots and all of the different little hidden gems you know in las vegas and you know across the globe because y'all know i travel a lot so yeah that's my second channel it's eventually gonna be coming i'm trying to lay out the schematics for that but for the most part we still gonna be focused on this grim runner channel man this is about therapy right here i love driving this thing yeah we gonna turn this up a little bit Woo. Come on, man. We're going to have a little fun, man. I can't be out here driving like a grandma. We just got to be smart with it, y'all. Man, I'm telling y'all, the RT, boy. RT is like one of the funnest cars ever. Man, it's like one of the funnest cars ever, man. Don't sleep on the RT. For real. But yeah, man, back to what I was talking to. I want y'all to let me know what type of content y'all want to see on the channel. And, you know, just kind of give y'all input, you know, because I, I really appreciate that. And I want to make sure that I'm making the best type of content for y'all. Like, I definitely want to do my test drives, but I'm still trying to get everything figured out as to how I want to format the videos. I just don't want to get out there and start recording and just put out, you know, half-assed content. So we'll get it together. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know I'm still got my little cough dealing with this asthma stuff, but come on, man. I think it's like, well, it must be a little bit of a, a rush hour right now because everybody's probably getting off work and off school. They got all these damn cones. I swear, I don't know what goes on in Vegas because they always have cones everywhere and it seemed like they never repairing the actual streets. Like, I literally have no idea what they doing half the time with these cones out. But yeah, let's try to make it across this light. So we almost there, y'all. We almost on our back road where we do all of our high speed tests at. And yeah, we about to test this thing out. Are you gonna let me go or what? Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, man, we about to turn this thing up. I'm actually, I'm gonna put my speedometer on miles per hour because we are not gonna do a zero to 60 right now. Let's go ahead and boom. We gonna put that thing on speed. So yeah, man, let me know what kind of content y'all wanna see. Let me know if y'all want me to do any particular mods to the Challenger, you know, Let's have that open dialogue and let's make it do what it do. Cause this car is not going nowhere. It's definitely not going nowhere. Um, I, I, I definitely do want to get an additional vehicle, but we actually gonna keep the Challenger and the family. We gonna keep the RT and the family until we start building on this thing. And I might start doing some little fun stuff, man. Like some little electric scooters, just all kind of little stuff. So now we got a little leeway. Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's go. 
Yeah. Yeah, we about to play a little ball now. And we get, ooh, yeah. All right, all right. So look, let's go ahead and we jumping right into the content now. Oh, we got us a challenger spotting. Oh, we got us a challenger spotting. What is that, Go Mango? That's what's up, that look like another RT. But we out here, and I'ma tell y'all right now, boy. Hold up, let me make sure I don't drown the sound out. This thing is snappy. It's snappy as hell right now. Let's see if we can get a quick honey. Quick honey ball, quick honey ball. Oh! <laughs> Gotta be smart. <laughs> Gotta be smart, but man. And they'll sleep on the Challenger too, with these corners. Challenger can hit these corners too, boy. You just gotta be smart with how you hitting these things. I'll roll the window up, man. Yeah, we about to have some fun. That's one thing I'm afraid of, is trying to hit these corners going too fast, but ugh. All right, let's see what we can do. We go scoop out, we go scoop out the scene. See if it's any pedestrians out, which usually it shouldn't be. I think we just got a lot of cars. They just like coming back here to look at the view of the strip. This crazy view back here, but I got to make sure this road is open. You know what? After this car pass right here. Woo! All right, man. Now, let me get my stuff together because I'm about to try to get this thing up to a buck 20, y'all. Let's see if we could do it, man. Let's get it. Ooh! All right, come on. Come on, y'all. Let's see, we got the balls to do it. We gotta play smart though. Come on, baby. All right, whoa, hell nah. <laughs> All right, whoa. All right. Woo! You know what? Yeah, I don't think this is the right road for it. <laughs> I can't even lie, man. My heart beating fast as hell right there. I'm like, hell no. Nah. Nah, nah, bro. I don't think we gonna do 120 today. This road got too many curves and it got too many bumps. I don't think that's the smartest thing to do. I actually cherish and I value my life, so that's not happening. Look, they got the ATVs out. See, man, that's why I love Las Vegas. You got all of this extra land back here. You can come bring the ATVs out. Once I get my new place, I think I'm actually invest in me an ATV and just figure it out man because I fell in love with that with that thing in a uh, DR but yeah I don't even know how fast I was going I think I went a little bit over 100 don't know how much but I'm definitely not doing 120 on this damn road y'all I tried but that's definitely not happening we go keep that top speed we go uh, we go uh save that for another time when we could go to just a straight road or on the freeway or something because that's that scared the hell out of me but Back to what the video is on. I'm actually feeling the difference with the Hellcat air intake box. The car definitely feels a, not, a lot snappier, excuse me, because it's sucking in all of that cold air from the outside. Man, this damn thing handles good around these corners. Better than I expected. You know, you just gotta be smart. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Ooh, and if I get caught, Oh, they're gonna cops, man. Oh my God, I hope they don't pull me over. This is gonna be the first time that I ever get pulled over. So I think we gonna keep it, we gonna keep it civilized for right now. Oh man. And he probably clocked me doing that top speed. I am getting off this street, y'all. I'm getting off this street, man. So look, that's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video because I'm not going to the joint today for no speeding, uh, speeding tickets, you know, going X amount of uh, miles per hour over the speed limit. But yeah, we had a little fun. You know what? Actually, I'm not gonna end it just now. I'm gonna just get away from this street and we just go keep it a little bit simple and play it and we just go just, just kind of fill out the actual car and its performance to the core. So as I said, for the most part, the car feels a lot snappier. I'm hitting on the gas and I kind of, I just feel, you can almost like feel, not necessarily the suction, but you just feel that the car is just pulling in a lot of cold air because it's just a lot snappier than what it usually is. And then, hold up, let me see. I'm gonna crack this other one. I just wanna see what the exhaust sounds like. Cause I know y'all love hearing that exhaust. You could definitely feel the difference so yeah man i know i'm gonna have to do like a lot uh a lot better in depth 
uh, review as far as testing out the Hellcat air intake box. What I'm probably, it's gonna be kind of difficult though because like I said, at least with, with my Challenger, I don't have any of the tech packages or anything like that. So I can't see like what the in intake temperature is. You know, I'm just going off field, but we go figure it out. You know, we probably do a couple more tests, especially in the winter time once it gets extremely cold out here but yeah man that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i just wanted to get out here just have a just a little bit of fun test this thing out see if we can get a top speed but the police are back there sitting in the cut and i'm not playing today i'm not going to the joint today so that's gonna wrap it up if y'all like this video make sure y'all smash that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you drop a comment man i'll be back with another one